Hello everybody, Dick Coughlin here, Brother Neuro, and this is just going to be a straightforward, no-nonsense, old-school video response. And the person I'm responding to is uh, a user who you probably haven't heard of. Uh, I remember hearing of him a few years ago. Uh, he's not really someone who pops up on a lot of people's sort of main radars, but he's been around a while, and he's got a you know he's got a reasonably uh, respectably si sized channel. He's also made a lot of videos. He goes by the name of Shikama. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with Shikama, um, he's a, he's a, he's an unusual fellow uh, with some rather controversial and uh, complicated opinions. Um, I think the best... Let, well, let, let's start, shall we, by looking at uh, uh, the channel description. It's always a good place to start. Let's look at his About Me section. See what we can find there. America needs jobs. I report on jobs. Pretty cool marriage, huh? Want a job? Not just any job. The highest paying job for your educational level didn't go to college. Always good to get a, an unnecessary piece of like comma before the question mark. No problem. Don't want to work with your hands. No problem. My goal is to get you to a million bucks the best way possible. Because then you can really help people. It's just money. And if you want to help people like I do, having a million bucks will do the trick. Now, I don't know about you, I have no idea what the fuck he's talking about, what he does. He says he reports on jobs, but if America needs jobs and there's no job, and I don't know what the stuff about not wanting to use your hands, I mean, that would be great for me because my hands are fucked, but you kind of still very few jobs you don't sort of need uh, need them in um uh, and 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 you would assume from that that he also has at least in excess of a million dollars because he's saying that he helps people because you know a million it's million bucks that ain't shit um but then he says at the bottom hey why don't you help me out by the way and he's got links to all like Cash App and PayPal and stuff, which is fine. I'm not busting him on that, God forbid. But I'm not sitting here claiming I've got a million dollars. You know, you can help, you know, why would we want to help you? You're here to help us out because you've got a million... And this is just the start. You, you would also think that maybe a guy who has a million plus dollars who then goes on to sell merchandise would probably have a better line than this. Um, you, you know, you might also, again, don't want to nitpick here, but you're busting on saying college no problem, and in the in the one in the middle there, you can see you've misspelled the word distant. You know, you spelled it with two Ds. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not exactly... It's a bit of a shitty line-up, if I'm being honest here. Now, as far as his controversial opinions go well uh he you know, aside from uh, many others he thinks he's got you know look at his playlists he's got one playlist that says you know proof oj simpson is innocent okay he's only got five videos on that um which might sound like a lot but when you consider he's also got a playlist that tries to prove that bill cosby is innocent and that's got 74 but neither of those compare to, and fair enough, the guy's got nearly 3,000 videos, so this is still only a fraction. But if you want to judge someone, you know, I think you can look at what is a large amount of their content about. And it's probably, you know, uh, probably fair to say that if you look at what is the, what's the subject that's sort of most dominant uh, in their content, then that's probably a, a good way to sort of see where their mind's at. And... Um, one of the, it seems that the most popular subject, or one of the most popular subjects that Shikama talks about, is Japanese female sex robots. And I'm not even kidding here, because you know, you know he 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 he's got a playlist about this, which is 81 videos long. And who am I to judge, really? Because 
you know, he's got five of, of his of his top five videos of his most viewed videos. Three of them are about Japanese sex robots. They've got over a million views. So clearly, he's tapped into something. It's the only fucking thing he's tapping, but by, by the looks of it. Um, but but I'm not going to tackle any of that. I'm going to tackle a completely different video that he made about what seems like a a benign subject, but it's just it just fascinated me. So I'm going to I'm going to play this one instead. This video is called "Please Stop This First Black Bus Driver." That's the title. Now I'm not going to show you. I'm going to play audio of it, but I'm not going to show you the video yet, and you'll find out in a bit why I'm changed, I'm, I'm doing that. But let's just get on with that, shall we? Please stop saying first black bus driver. Oh, oh, oh I, I know exactly what you mean. I'm just sick of just. just could we all just cut it? Just, just could you all just cut it out with the first black this. Everywhere I go, everyone's talking about the first black fucking bus driver. And I'm just, I'm sticking to, when is, has anyone here, maybe this is just me, this again, this could be the circles I move in, but has anyone here, like, I have never heard or said or thought the words first black bus driver until I saw this video. Right? That was it. That was, that was I never heard it. Again, sits. If I, if 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 you, if you if maybe if you're in one of these circles where all you fucking hear all day, then please let me know. That's not an achievement. Well, I mean, becoming a bus driver is an achievement, isn't it? I mean, it's an achievement if you know what you wanted to become was a bus driver. You know, I mean, in and of itself, just becoming a bus driver—that's an achievement. Let's take the first and the black part out of it. But, yeah, I mean, can you drive a fucking bus? I can't. You haven't done anything. You've learned how to drive a bus. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shikama. Hi, Shikama. I'm Dick Coughlin. You'll probably regret welcoming me. I had the good fortune, I guess luck, I guess chance. Those are literally all the same thing. Fortune, luck, chance. No. He does this a bit. His videos tend to be, if they're 10 minutes, it's like 45 seconds worth of content. To be born into a diplomatic family. Diplomatic family. What does that mean? What does that mean? That's what I just asked. Are you responding to me now? What's going on? That means that my family traveled all over the world representing the United States as diplomats to other countries. Presumably this was in some official capacity. I'm guessing they didn't just go around. They didn't just decide for the hell of it. You know, I'm joshing. As a part of my growing up, I lived in three separate countries in Africa, among all the other countries around the world that we lived in. When you live in Africa, normal, everyday stuff is all done by black people. When I come to the United States, it really paints a really sad picture that black people think they have achieved something when they become a bus driver. Oh, where do I start here? Shikama, when somebody uses the phrase first black bus driver, they don't mean that this is the first ever black person to drive a fucking bus in the world. It's also not something that is always, it's something that is always tend to be thrust upon them, you know? Yes, in the African countries, whichever they were, um, I don't know what they were, but yes, uh, and, uh, yeah, most everything is done by black people because that's all that's fucking there. No one's suggesting that black people can't do these things they just in America didn't really want them to for example when people said Barack Obama the first black president they didn't mean like ever obviously there's been black presidents everywhere else in countries that are particularly almost exclusively full of black people it's not an achievement no one's saying that but when you're in a country where being black is something that is, 
you know, it's so heavily politicised that, let us not forget, in 1955, you know, Rosa Parks was when Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat for a white person. That's how, that's how fucking you know, politicised, you know, racism was. You couldn't even sit on a bus, right? So, to go from that to someone actually driving the fucking thing might be seen as a progression. It's not like black people were just sitting around thinking, you know, oh, I've achieved something. I'm now a bus driver. I'm the first black... Bu-. They don't believe... They don't... The point... That's the whole point of what they're trying to make here is that it shouldn't be a fucking achievement. It shouldn't be something you have to fight for. But it was. Now, if you look at the picture Shikama uses in this video, right, he uses a picture of this woman, right, her name is Mary Wallace. Right? Now, I don't know if Mary Wallace was in some way the inspiration for the character of Marcellus Wallace from Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction, but I'd like to think that she was. But you're using this picture of, uh, of Mary Wallace as the, the catalyst for your rant on to stop saying first black bus drivers. Now, there are several problems here. Number one, Mary Wallace became a bus driver in Chicago in 1974. 1974. I'm 42 years old. That, she was a bus driver five years before I was born. That's nearly five decades. Five decades ago. And you're acting like this is something fucking... Like this is something everyone's going on about. No, no one is going on about this. And even if they were, they probably were only going on about it in like 1974 and not even in America, in Chicago. Because that's specifically what they were talking about. She wanted to. She wanted to be a bus driver. She achieved that dream. To put that in perspective, how long ago that was? It's 1974. It was nearly 50 years ago from today. But it's less than 30 years after World War Two ended. It's less than 20 years after Rosa Parks protest in Alabama. It's only about 10 years after the civil rights movement in general. Fucking... So, to sit there, why are you acting like this is a fucking massive deal? But here's the thing, Chikawa. Here's what's interesting and fascinating about this. You want to crap on people who may who have broken a glass ceiling under some weird pretext that people won't stop going on about it using some random example of some woman from fucking 50 years ago the same year Blazing Saddles came out that's how fucking long ago this was fucking Bernie Sanders was still in fucking kindergarten when this happened but here's the thing Forget about the time. Forget about the playbook. Because Mary Wallace, you're right about one thing. It would be wrong. It's wrong for anyone to brag about the fact that Mary Wallace was the first black bus driver, even in Chicago, because Mary Wallace wasn't the first black bus driver in Chicago. Mary Wallace was the first female bus driver in Chicago. And literally, every article you can find on this, every picture you can find on this, is how she is described. But you don't need me to point that out to you, Shikama. Because let me show you, folks. 
Let me show you the image that Shikama used in his video to rant. And this video goes on for 10 minutes, but this is how little I need to cover from it. I know I've only played, like, fucking barely a minute of it. I don't need to play anymore. This is the image that Shikama used. Now, what does that say at the bottom, folks? It says, Mary Wallace, first female bus driver. Now, I've been on YouTube a long time, folks. <coughs> I've been on YouTube a very long time. I'm not one of these big time fucking, you know, 100 million sub YouTubers, you know, big city YouTubers, but I've been around a long time. And I've seen a lot of people who've made videos. I've made I've seen people who've made videos that are so bad that you can you can debunk them without any research. I've even seen people make videos where you can debunk what they've said using the sources that they've linked that they think prove their point. This is a first, Shikama. You are the first. At least in my, for me. Now, I don't know if you're the first ever. I imagine you're probably not. Right, but you are the first person on YouTube who has ever made a YouTube video that is debunked by the very video content that you uploaded. It's right there in front of you. First female bus driver. She wasn't the first black bus driver. The first black bus... The bus driver who was driving the bus where Rosa Parks got arrested was fucking black. So the first black bus driver goes way, way back to the 1930s. I think in some places in in you know in in this in uh, this country it was even earlier than that. And this is the bit that annoys me, Shikama. Is I think you know that I think you saw this. You were just looking for something to make content. You saw this. And you didn't really read it. And that's okay. We all make mistakes. We all get a bit overexcited. And you've got a bit overexcited. And you've put this woman forward. Even though it was 50 years ago. And literally no one would fucking would remember this. Probably even in Chicago. And you've put this forward. And you would think... Wouldn't you? What? Why am I making this video? It seems unnecessary, but that's the problem, isn't it? The problem is that even Shikama's audience don't seem, or at least the ones whose comments I can see, don't seem to have noticed this. They seem to be going along with it. As you see there, Dubs Co says the title says first woman, nothing about being black. I mean, the title on the video, not the description. Uh, and Shikama replies, and Shikama replies to this. It's under. It's under first black. I cut off most of the picture. Right, let's look at that picture. Right, now that is a lie, Shikama. You are lying. That is not true. And you know it's not true. Someone's posted this comment and I swear I when I first found this video, there was a different comment there and they fuck and someone else had, and it's not there now. I'm not saying you've done anything. I know YouTube fucks up. You fucked up, Shikama. You made a mistake. And now you've gone off and got upset about something that not only is 50 years out of date, you know, this is pre decimalization. Uh, things got, you got upset about something, out, you've got upset and you've got, gone off on a rant about something. Maybe you were just looking for something to complain about. And now you're lying. I know you're lying because I found that fucking photo and it doesn't say that. You didn't cut it off. And with that, I think we can safely say, I win. So please give this video a like, subscribe. Please support me on Patreon. Uh, yeah. That's all I've got to say. And that's the end of that chapter. Good night, may God be less, and where there's no sense, there's no feeling. Bye-bye.